This is Echium. I became interested in this plant because it grows really well in our Mediterranean climate. It's pretty drought tolerant. It can take our long, hot, dry summers. And it also uh, has a reputation for being super attractive to bees. And you'll see in just a minute that that reputation is proving to be true. As you can see from this little bit closer view, this echium, the blooms, this, it's May right now in Southern California. And these blooms are in full sun at the moment. And they are super, super busy with honeybees. There's native bees on there too from time to time. I think there's yellow-faced bumblebees. This particular specimen is on the main street of our town. It's been here for decades. It's a very mature specimen. Um, and as you can see, the bees absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Here's an even closer view, and you can see they're just crawling with bees. That's a native yellow-faced bumblebee, I think from the genus Bombus species. Don't know the exact Latin off the top of my head. But the native bumblebees are enjoying the echium just as much as the honeybees are. I'm really glad I chose to plant this specimen at Suburban Stone Age. It looks like the echium in full sun do much better than the ones in part shade. The bees find it much more attractive, which makes sense. They can probably locate it better when the flowers are warmed up and, and easier to detach. But I'm very glad that I chose it. It's going to be um, appropriate for a climate. It's going to be able to handle our long dry summers and it will give the honeybees a helping hand. And that's what we're all about. Hope you enjoyed this video of Echium, a bee-friendly plant from Suburban Stone Age.